Hi guys, this is the video for how to solve the Mac Nugget problem within one minute. Well, let's start with what the Mac Nugget number is then. Well, I mean in the past we have three different boxes for Mac Nuggets. Um, six Nuggets in small box, nine Nuggets in middle box, and 20 Nuggets in the big box. Maybe there are more, I'm not sure right now. Well, the point is, um, what is the largest number that when you order the nuggets and then the seller can possibly give you in the combination of these boxes? Well, let's take for example, if you like order to order 22 nuggets. Hmm, okay. If you take 20 out to the big box, you will have two more left. Well, again, it can be put into 6 or 9 because it's too little. And if you try to combine um, 22 with 6, 9, that would be 15. Again, there will be 7 left. If you keep trying with 6, again, you will end up with 1. It's obvious because 6 and 9 are multiples of 3, plus together is still multiple of 3, but 22 is obviously not the multiple of 3. So 22 is also what we call the flow bit, uh, the number. Uh, actually, it's f the greatest one would be the flow biggest number, but the smaller one is still considered the number that we can reach for the magnets. Anyway, we are trying to find if there's any larger number than 22. Well, many of you may think that, oh, it could be taking to infinity, but actually it's not going to be that great. For example, taking 101, you have 101 as 99 plus 2. Hmm, which number just had a um, remainder of 2 when divided by 3? 20. Yeah, okay, so we can write it as 101 equals to 20 plus 81. Yes, that's the multiple of 3 for sure. Let me rewrite it as 9. 22, uh, 20 plus 9 plus ta 9 times 9, that would be. Uh, 9 boxes of 9 nuggets plus 1 box of 20 nuggets. See? Once the number gets larger, the multiples can cover all the factors and the remainders. So, it's obviously not gonna reach infinity. Well, if you're taking the old oh, algorithm, it's gonna take more than a minute. So, let's start 1 minute from now and see the theorem that can help you. It's called the Worm Theorem. Well, it states that if um, for the number C that can divide it, the LCM of AB, the LCM is the largest common multiple. Well, taking for example, 6 and 9, the largest common multiple would be 18. Because 18 can be divided by 9 or 6. And let's just complete it then. The LCM for 9 and 20 would be... Well, since it don't have any common factor, that would be 180. Well, let's look at our theorem again. Well, if we take 6 as C and A and B as 9 and 20, 180 uh, can be divided by 6, obviously. So, if this uh, can be related, uh, if it satisfies this condition, then 
the greatest number between A, B, C would equal to the LCM of A, C plus LCM of B, C minus A minus B minus C. Well, let's just plug it in then. 6, 9, 20. Well, we know that 6 can divide the, the LCM of the other two, so 6 is gonna be here. So let's just put 6 and 6 again and minus all three numbers. Here we go. The LCM of 9 and 6, we just got that 18. The LCM of 20 and 6, well, should not be difficult because it's got the common factor of 2, so it's going to be 60. And then we can just minus with this thing, well, obviously it's going to be 35. 60 t uh, plus 18 would be 78. Minus 35 would be 43. There we go. So if we take it from here, we can conclude that if you order 43 nuggets, it can be the combination of these um, positive summations, no matter how hard you try. But and if you just plus one to forty three, that would be forty four. We can still get the forty four nuggets from this combination. You see how? Okay, let me show you the twenty plus. 24. Again, 24 is multiple of 3. And obviously, 6 times 4 can be done to get these magnets. Meaning, you can get 20, 1 box of 20 plus 4 boxes of 6. But for 43, you can't. Let's see why. Forty three. Well, if you try twenty again, it's going to be twenty three. Again, it's on the bottom pool of three. If you try taking twenty again, well, three is too little for the six and nine. We can uh, just subtract them because we can't really add them together. And again, we can rely on 6 and 9 because it's going to be multiple of 3. And 43 is not the multiple of 3. So obviously, this one will be the largest number that can't be represented with the uh, combination of 6, 9, and 20. So, got Dr. Worm's theorem. The Frobenius number G of A, B, C. If C can divide the LCM of A, B, then you will have the G, A, B, C equals LCM of A, C plus LCM of B, C minus A minus B minus C. Well, just stick to the C and you remember that C will, have, will appear everywhere. Okay? Alright? Guys, hope you enjoyed it.